Good morning. I just wanted to do a real quick tutorial on how we wash our cloth diapers. Now you can see <clears throat> we'll start out with the diaper pail. We actually just have a plain Rubbermaid garbage can with a yellow Planet Wise pail liner inside of it. Nothing fancy. I would like to get another pail liner eventually, but this is what we've got for now. Basically what I'll do is I'll throw this whole thing in the wash. And you can see in here we have a mixture of wipes, pocket diapers, uh, flip covers, flat diapers, pre-folds, a couple of inserts, kind of a little bit of everything. And I'll show you how we make this work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the lid off the garbage can, take my whole pail liner, and dump it into the washer. And I think all of our, it looks like some of the pockets are not um, stuffed, so I'll go ahead and do that. Because uh, hubby doesn't always... <laughs> and stuff them. Uh, but after I've done that, what I'm going to start off with is a cool or a cold rinse. So I'm going to turn on the washer here and I'm going to set it to rinse and spin. And then I'm going to hit this where it says extra rinse. I'm not going to do an extra rinse, but I'm going to hold it and it's going to give it extra water. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do is to take, since we have a stink issue sometimes, I'm going to take this rocking green funk rock, and uh, this helps a lot with the stinkies. So I'm just going to take some of that, and it's not very precise, but it works. Just kind of sprinkle it in there. And one other thing I'm going to do when it comes to the spin speed, I'm going to put it on low. That way it will spin less of the water out of the diapers so that when it comes time for wash time, it'll include more water, which will help them rinse cleaner. So we will go ahead and get started with this and I'll see you in 21 minutes. Okay, we're back and the diapers are ready to be washed. They've gone through a cold rinse cycle on a low spin and so now we're going to wash them. I'm going to start by taking some tea tree oil. You can see that. There you go. Some tea tree oil and just a couple of drops in there. And what that will do is kill any germs specifically if there's any fungus or anything growing in there. Um, it'll kill that. And I'll pull out the little tray here. And what I'm going to use is again the rock and green. This is the laundry detergent smashing watermelons. This is the classic rock. I think next time that I buy it, I'm going to get the hard rock because our water is pretty hard. And I'm going to put one full tablespoon scoop. Uh, this is just one of those wooden spoons that came with those little canisters you keep in the pantry, and it works great for a detergent. So I'm going to close that. And <clears throat> By the way, this is an LG um, top loading high efficiency, so it's not a typical high efficiency that you see with the front loaders, but it is a top loader, which is great for cloth diapers because you can get more water. And I'm going to actually go on the heavy duty setting, and then I'm going to switch the temperature to hot, and I've got a um, high spin, and I'm going to hit the extra rinse. And you see that it just increased the time a little bit. And also I'm going to hold it for using extra water. Okay, and so we're ready to go. Now it's going to get our diapers nice and clean. And I'll see you again in an hour and 21 minutes. Okay, now everything is clean. Uh, what I'm going to do is take out all of the covers and the pocket diapers and of course the, well, yeah, just the pocket diapers uh, covers and the, and the diaper covers and hang them on the line and then put the wipes and inserts and diapers in 
our dryer. I actually have two wool dryer balls in here that help with the quick cleaning, or I'm sorry, quick drying. And I found that they actually make a huge difference and they don't harm the diapers in any way. So just a minute, I'll be right back. Just to show you a little bit of what I've got, by the way, um, I have these flat uh, rectangular, oh so cozy, bird's eye cotton flat diapers. And this is the majority of my stash. And these dry very, very quickly in the dryer. Um, I have these microfiber inserts that go with my Alva Baby oh, diapers. Yeah. And these are the Thirsties inserts. This is a really thin microfiber with a cotton, I'm sorry, yes, a cotton hemp insert. This, I can tell you, when everything else is dry, this will not be dry. So a lot of times I have to air dry this the rest of the way. Got my flip covers. Oops. And some wipes. And actually, some baby clothes in here. <laughs> Can't hurt. But I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these in here and then see you on the line. Okay. Here we have our diaper covers on the line. Um, I line dry inside in the winter, um, but you know, it's a really pretty day. I might go put them on the porch to get them some sun, but you can see I've got them just hanging lightly on these, on this little drying rack I got at Walmart. And uh, these things are really pretty thin, and so they should be dry within um, probably four or five hours. And there's my little diaper model, Caleb. Hi. And uh, so yeah, I will follow up with you later when it's time to fold the diapers. Okay, here we are. We have to be quiet, my husband is taking a nap. But I have folded all of the inserts and the flats and the wipes and those are my diapers. The pockets need to be stuffed and the Pail liner is back in the diaper pail, so all I need to do is just one more step and we'll be done. Hope this was helpful. Um, any questions, concerns, comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.